Ringworm is a common fungal infection that affects the skin, nails, and scalp. Despite its name, ringworm isn't caused by a worm at all. The name ringworm comes from the characteristic circular, red, and scaly rash that often has a clear center, making it resemble a ring. This fungal infection, also known medically as tinea or dermatophytosis, is highly contagious and can spread through direct contact with an infected person, animal, or contaminated surfaces. The fungi that cause ringworm belong to a group called dermatophytes. These microscopic organisms thrive in warm, moist environments and feed on keratin, which is a protein found in our skin, hair, and nails. When these fungi infect the body, they cause the typical ringworm rash we will talk about in a minute. What's interesting here is that some studies estimate that up to 20% of all the population may be affected by some form of ringworm at any given time. Types of ringworm Ringworm can be classified based on the area of the body it affects. Each type has distinct characteristics, although the underlying cause, which is the dermatophyte fungi, remains the same. So, here are the types of ringworm. Number 1. Tinea corporis This form of ringworm affects the body's skin, particularly on the arms, legs, and torso. It presents as round, red patches with a clear center, often leading to the misconception of a worm living under the skin. The edges of the patches may be raised, scaly, and more inflamed than the center. Number 2. Tinea capitis. Tinea capitis is ringworm of the scalp. It primarily affects children and can lead to bald patches as the fungus invades hair follicles. The affected areas can become inflamed, leading to scaly, itchy, and sometimes painful lesions. In severe cases, it can cause a condition known as herian, where the scalp swells and pus-filled sores develop. Number 3. Tinea pates, Commonly known as athlete's foot, this type of ringworm affects the feet, especially between the toes. It can cause itching, burning, and cracked skin. The infection often spreads in communal areas like locker rooms and swimming pools. Number 4. Tinea cruris. Also known as jock itch, tinea cruris affects the groin area, inner thighs, and buttocks. It is more common in men and can cause a red, itchy, ring-like rash in the warm, moist areas of the body. Number 5. Tinea unguium. This form of ringworm affects the nails, leading to thick, discolored, and brittle nails. It can be challenging to treat and often requires prolonged therapy. Number 6. Tinea barbie. This type of ringworm affects the beard area in men, causing red, scaly patches and, in some cases, pustules. It can resemble bacterial folliculitis and often occurs in men who work with animals. Causes of ringworm. As we mentioned earlier, ringworm is caused by dermatophytes, which are a group of fungi that include species of trichophyton, microsporum, and epidermophytin. These fungi are naturally present in the environment and on the skin of humans and animals. However, under certain conditions, such as when the skin is damp, warm, or compromised, these fungi can proliferate and cause an infection. The most common way to contract ringworm is through direct contact with an infected person or animal. This is why ringworm often spreads in families or among children in schools or daycare centers. Ringworm can also spread through contact with contaminated items like combs, brushes, towels, clothing, or even floors and shower stalls in public areas. Animals, particularly cats and dogs, are common carriers of ringworm. Infected animals may show signs of the disease such as hair loss or scaly patches, or they may be asymptomatic carriers. So, farmers, veterinarians, and pet owners are at higher risk of contracting ringworm from animals. Other than that, there are some factors that can increase your risk of getting ringworm. These include poor hygiene, excessive sweating, sharing personal items, wearing tight or restrictive clothing, and living in crowded or unsanitary conditions. Symptoms of ringworm The symptoms of ringworm can vary depending on the location of the infection. Number 1. Scalp area When ringworm affects the scalp, it can cause hair loss in the affected areas. The scalp may become scaly, flaky, and itchy, and in severe cases, painful sores or abscesses can develop. This can lead to scarring and permanent hair loss if left untreated. Number 2. Grown area. 
Jock itch causes a red, itchy rash in the groin, inner thighs, and buttocks. The rash may spread to the lower abdomen and may become more pronounced after physical activity or sweating. The skin may become raw and painful if scratched excessively. Number 3. Skin Ringworm On the skin, ringworm can appear anywhere and it typically presents as round, red patches with a clear center. These patches may grow in size and merge with other patches, forming large, irregularly shaped areas of infected skin. The rash is often itchy and may become painful if the skin becomes cracked or infected with bacteria. Number 4. Feet area. This type causes itching, burning, and redness between the toes, although the infection can spread to the soles and sides of the feet. The skin may crack, peel, and blister, leading to discomfort and pain, especially when walking or standing for long periods. Number 5. Beard Area Ringworm of the beard area causes red, scaly patches on the face and neck, particularly in areas where facial hair grows. The infection may also lead to the formation of pustules or abscesses, which can be painful and may require medical intervention. Number 6. Nails Area this type causes the nails to become thick, discolored, and brittle. The nails may also crumble or detach from the nail bed, leading to discomfort and a disfigured appearance. Diagnosis of Ringworm Your doctor will often be able to diagnose ringworm based on the characteristic appearance of the rash. The presence of a red, ring-shaped rash with a clear center is often enough to make a preliminary diagnosis. However, to confirm the diagnosis and identify the specific type of fungus causing the infection, additional tests may be necessary. One common diagnostic method is a skin scraping or nail clipping. Here your doctor will gently scrape off a small sample of infected skin or clip a piece of infected nail. This sample is then examined under a microscope. The dermatophyte fungi have a distinctive appearance that a trained eye can identify. Another diagnostic tool is a Woods lamp examination. This involves shining a special ultraviolet light on the affected area. Certain types of fungi, particularly those that cause tinea capitis, will fluoresce under this light, appearing a bright green color. In some cases, particularly if initial treatments aren't effective, a fungal culture may be performed. This involves placing a sample of the infected skin or nail in a special medium that encourages fungal growth. Over several days to weeks, the specific type of fungus can be identified. This can be particularly helpful in determining the most effective treatment. Treatment for ringworm. The good news is that ringworm is generally very treatable. For mild to moderate cases of ringworm on the skin, over-the-counter antifungal creams, lotions, or powders are often effective. These typically contain active ingredients like clotrimazole, myconazole, or trebenafin. These medications work by killing the fungi or preventing them from growing and spreading. When using these topical treatments, it's important to follow the instructions carefully. Most need to be applied not just to the visible rash, but also to the surrounding area. Treatment usually needs to be continued for one to two weeks after the rash has cleared to ensure all the fungi are eliminated. In cases where the infection is more extensive or affects the scalp, nails, or beard area, oral antifungal medications may be necessary. These medications, such as terbenafen, itraconazole, or griseofulvin, work by targeting the fungi from within the body. Treatment with oral antifungals typically lasts for several weeks to several months, depending on the severity and location of the infection. For scalp ringworm, in addition to oral antifungals, an antifungal shampoo containing ketoconazole or selenium sulfide may be recommended to help reduce the spread of the infection. These shampoos are used two to three times a week. In addition to medication, there are several self-care measures that can help treat ringworm and prevent its spread. Keeping the affected area clean and dry is crucial, as the fungi thrive in moist environments. For athlete's foot, this might mean changing socks frequently and allowing shoes to dry out between wears. For other types of ringworm, wearing loose-fitting clothes made of breathable fabrics can help. It's also important to avoid sharing personal items like combs, brushes, towels, or clothing with others while infected. This helps prevent the spread of ringworm to family members or close contacts. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you or someone you know have ringworm? What was the cause of it? 
Share with us your experiences and opinions in the comments below. We love to hear them. Thanks for watching.